this podcast is part of the Pull Up a Chair Podcast Network. Let's build community through connection, conversation, and collaboration. This podcast is sponsored by Elever Consulting, editing with a purpose. Check them out at eleverconsulting.com for a free consultation. I'm Sarah. And I'm Scooter. Thanks for pulling up a chair with us. We are not experts on any of these topics, but we are hoping to spark something. Like an idea, a conversation, or even a revelation. Well, let's give it a shot. Let's Let's talk talk about about stuff. stuff. Hello. Yeah, we're recording. Yeah, we're back. Yeah. we're We're back, baby. Is that a thing? Yes. I don't know if that's a thing. I feel like that's how you have to say it. Ooh, I'm breathing heavy. You can do this. I'm not editing that out. We're nervous, guys. Ugh. It's been a minute. It's been almost a year. Yeah. Guys, um, there's been a lot of reasons. Um, excuses, most of them. Um, I don't like to call them excuses. Oh, mine are excuses. Oh, okay. Mine are totally excuses. Okay. I could have done this. You've said that, hey, let's record so many times. Yeah, that's true. And I was like, I just can't. Yeah. (laughs) That's not wrong. Oh, we're supposed to say who we are. Hello. Hi. I'm Sarah. And I am not Sarah. No. I am Sarah's husband, Scooter. Oh, that's like the first time in a row. That's one in a row is a thing around here. We try new things. Yes. So what's up? Um introduce ourselves i don't know why we even have this segment in here like i put in here like say hello and introduce ourselves but if if you're listening for the first time go back to episode one uh stop what you're doing because i'm about to ruin your life with really (laughs) bad advice (laughs) that's what we do yeah We, we will we will ruin your life not on purpose it's your own choice well yeah you press play listen or not but thank you no, seriously, a huge thank you to anybody that listens to what we do or what we don't do. Uh, we love you for it. Um, so. So we like to start off the show. With what? With a good thing. Good thing. What? What? Good things back. All right. Do you um, want to go first? Don't look at mine. Well, I'm not looking at yours. I'm more like I'm looking at the monitor, like hoping, man, did I set the levels right? Because it looks really low. Uh, oh. We'll see what happens. I would say it looks really red. I don't this, know what that means. <laughs> it just means it's recording. Oh. <laughs> um, but the little squiggles is our voices, and it looks very small compared to all the music stuff that we're putting on top of it. So oh, well, we'll see how it goes. I'm scared. Yeah. Um, it's been a while. Yeah. And I click some buttons, <laughs> and we're hoping it's working. These are moments we ask for grace. That's so that is, is a good thing. We're back. So yes. a good thing is, that's one of our good things, just right off the bat. We're we're deciding we're going to do this again, see what happens. Yes. So there's been, we've been gone for a while, so I feel like we should encompass the good things that have happened since we've been gone. This could be a long episode. No, how, I mean, how I mean long? it depends on how much we remember. So I'm going to go like big good things. And ah. then you could fill in where you want to, I guess. But that means I might steal all of your good things. That's hit him. Hit okay. him. Hit him hard. So we had a kid go to college. We and, did. And she tried it. And she said, college is terrible. I don't want to do this anymore. So she finished a year and now she's back. It's a good thing. She attempted. She tried. She learned that wasn't for her. And then we moved on. That's how long we've been gone. Yes. We had a kid go through college. <laughs> <laughs> through a whole first year of college and go, meh. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that, a bit, no, I'm just saying that's that we've experienced that all since our last episode. So yes. that's that's intense. Yes, we had a second grandkid that was born. Goodness, right? And she's adorable. Oh, crazy! And she's just like the calmest kid, human being I've ever what seen. What a crazy little family unit those three are. They're, yes. Well, hold on. There's five of them because there's they got a cat and a dog. Cat. A cat. Yeah. They've always had a cat. Yes. But goodness. Um, yeah, that's one of the coolest things in this last year that has occurred in my realm of being. That's for sure. Yes. And then crazy, 
that the uh, the first grandkid turned three. Like, where did the time go? Good. I. Uh, and she's also flipping adorable. Oh, it's insane. She has the best conversations. Do you know my favorite thing that she says? Hey, mom, can I talk? Can I talk? <laughs> mom, can I talk? Like, that's my best part of the whole conversation. Mom, can I talk? Yes, yes, you can talk, sweetheart. <laughs> Those are my those are my favorite little little ditties. It's it's the best. It is um, very fun listening to you and Ariel and her all have a conversation together. It's it's just one of the best things to hear. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> um, so what else you got? And then we have one more grandbaby on the way. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, that's public knowledge, and this yes. will go out soon. So it'll be it'll be right on on the mark, like doing like a month. Yeah. Uh, from when this podcast, uh, went, since we're recording and releasing, so yeah. So those are my those are my things that have happened. Oh, let's see, we are nearly done with high school for two of our kids. Goodness. They, they have a uh, we've we've uh, what do you say beat this year? As parents, we were alive, and so I mean we've survived it. So that's that's a plus for us because Lord have mercy, I forgot what it's like to have a freshman go. Through that, that's all. That's all I have. Yeah, we'll we'll get into that here in a little bit. I think that'll be part of the main segment. We'll get a, there. So make a note then. Uh, all right, what do you have? What do I have? Good things. I mean, you stole. I told you I would. All of them. Uh, good things. There's. I think my. I, I feel like I've. I've lived vicariously through some other people over this last uh, year since we've been off the air uh, in a sense of the good things for me are like watching other people's passions come to life. I think that's a big part of my good things. Uh, But a lot of good things that we survived, um, we buckled down, uh, we tucked in, and as a family, uh, we don't well, we have teenagers in the house, but we don't hate each other every day. Yes. As a family, and my wife and I are still like best friends. Yeah, that's and that's good. that's a big good thing to go through some of the things that we get to um, here in a little bit. Yeah. That's a big good thing. I could say a lot of selfish things that are good things, but guitars and pedals. Yeah, I've <laughs> I found a new resurgence in my life for uh, guitars. Uh, I've always played guitar, and then I my pedal my pedal obsession because I want to find the right sound because I always played it a certain way, and I was like, I want to try something new. Um, started designing some pedals, doing some stuff. So if you're into that nerd stuff, hit me up. <laughs> if you're listening to this, if you're into nerdy wiring and guitars and pedals yes please save me let me know um yeah i have some new instagram friends that have entertained me um not entertain me what's the word indulge indulged me over the last year and i'm still i i can't stop so i also think another cool thing that's been happening in the last year is we've been hanging out a lot more with our family and friends like a lot Mm -hmm. more i mean we've always made it a thing Uh, to make sure we go see people. But I definitely think like this last year, we've done a lot more visiting people and hanging out as much as we can, as much as people are available just to see, see them and see their faces and hug them. So that's been nice. Yeah. I think, I I think that's kind of where we'll break off into where we at. Yeah. And and we're, I mean, normally we do advise me not, but I don't think this is going to be an advising. No. Um, episode, uh, it's more like, where were we? Like, what was, what was Sarah and Scooter up to? What was, what were Sarah and Scooter? I don't think you're supposed to whisper. I'm trying to like process the way to say it correctly in my brain. Cause I'm not, I'm not a very highly educated person. So if you're a writer or an English major, you've probably already stopped listening to us like on episode 0.5. Right. Um, so you want to go first? So where, where have we been? I'm a world-educated person. How about that? Um, I do stuff. 
Um, so where were we at? Yeah, go ahead. Go what, ahead. What You've got we... notes. I didn't even write it. I My have... boxes are empty. Well, I have notes because you like to talk more and then I like to fill yeah. in the gaps. But well, I guess... then you can start and then I'll try and fill. All right. So we took a break for like winter. I feel like that's where we left off was winter break. And we were like, we need a break because it's winter and we're going to go do things. And that's what we do. And then the universe was like, just kidding. We have a whole bunch of stuff that you guys have to take care of in life. And so let's break that down. Where do you want to start? <laughs> <laughs> want to break that down? Okay. Well, let's let, I mean, I, I don't like talking about myself, but I do. If yes. That makes sense. I do talk about myself. Um, I've always come to a real realization that when somebody's having an issue, I like to find a way to empathize by saying I've been through that and give them a story about what I went through. Yes. So I do it too often. Okay. Um, so if that happens between me and you on a personal <laughs> level somewhere, if you're listening to this, I'm, my intentions are good. Yes. It's not really about me. I'm trying to relate to you and say, hey, man, I feel for you. Right. Uh, so where are we at? Well, Scooter himself, I talked about myself in third person because I like to, when it comes to this <laughs> kind of thing, had a, like an emotional uh, depression, just uh, one of the worst episodes I've had in probably 20 years. Yeah. Realistically. Uh, no joke. So, um, I always, I mean, this is me being very honest. I, I always have a very tough time just getting out of bed in the morning. I've always had that problem. Just the sense of, hey, what's my worth? You know, can I conquer the day? You know, the voice in your head. But it lasted a long time uh, this last time. Apologize for the frog in my throat. I'm trying, <laughs> trying to swallow it down. <laughs> Yeah, so that was rough. So there was a big stint of us not recording and not doing a lot of stuff uh, because of that, because of me being stubborn um, in my depression. So that's one thing that put this put this whole thing on pause. Yeah, I think that started the pause. Yeah, yeah. I'll go with, and also our work life changed. It, it got busier for sure when it came to work. Things opened up and business got busier which is great but then it's also like where do you make the time to do this and we have jobs and school stuff and kids stuff um we our teenagers end up getting in car accidents so in the meantime we've lost a car we've got another car damaged and then we had to buy another car because the first one was totaled so that was that was something to have your kid be in a car that was totaled is another emotional ride that you just don't prepare yourself for. That was... Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, how do I put that in order? Did we did we talk about the second car yet? Kind of. I threw it in there. Oh, well, you threw it in there. <laughs> like, this is the current situation with cars. It's like, I don't like whining about cars because... It's a luxury. Well, because I've been... I've lived a life without a car. Um, not on purpose, but I've lived a life without a home. I've lived a life without a car. So... It's not a complaining thing. It's more of like, hey, we got to get some stuff taken care of. So, yeah, a, a car is definitely a luxury. I don't care what people say it's a necessity. No. It's like, no, it, it's people do walk. Yes. Uh, we were created with legs. Yes. You can walk. So I, I don't really necessarily like using that as a detriment of, is that a de right the word? Uh. A detriment? Eh, no, I thought I'm it was trying a better to use word, fancy but words. I know, just don't. Just okay. use normal words. <laughs> As something to complain about. Right. Um, but realistically, here's what's really going on. Car got totaled by one teenager. Um, which was scary as hell. Yeah. Just for the safety of the human being, you know, being our daughter. And so we had to find a replacement. That's hard to find. And, yes. uh this day and age like if you want to buy anything it's a bid war yep um so consumerism has gone through the freaking roof <laughs> um i edited myself yeah 
So that's been a challenge just to get that. Uh, and she was currently living in Fresno without a car. And I was like, which is fine. You can, you can survive with that. But it takes some getting used to. In the interim, while we're looking for a second car, for, for a replacement for that car, our second car got in two accidents by our other daughter. In the same week? With, uh, I'd say within the same like within like two or three weeks. No, it was in the same okay. week. <laughs> so she bumped into another car in a parking lot and then hit a curb Yeah. the next week. And now that car is like, as we speak right now, I don't know if this is going to drop afterwards. It'll Probably not. Right. The car has been in the shop for that long. So yeah. we've gone through a couple rental cars, um, which is not, it's not awful. No. You know, I mean... It's just an adjustment. This is just, we're telling you where we've been at. Right. Like, we've had other focuses, and the focus was, uh, let's get out of this before we talk to people about it. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I think we came to the realization we'll never be out of it. No. It's just what life is. Yes. And it, being down a car, whoop de freaking do Right. You know, uh, but that's just... I don't know if that's a reason. That's more of a reason, more, less of an excuse. No, it was more of a the things that in, that you have to do to get back up and running. Like, you can't just get in a car accident and then you're like, meh, I'm getting a car accident, move on. Now there's steps and people have to call and things you have to coordinate. And that took more time than I think I realized I had to give to it. But that was one of the things. Uh, what else happened? I feel like the universe is telling us we need to move out of where we live right now. because Good God. Everything is stopping working, and it's just one of those things where I'm big on listening to universe signs, but I'm also like, hey, universe, I don't know if you know this, but houses are expensive and so is rent. So granted, the fridge went out, the wa- the dryer stopped working, the sink's leaking, like the microwave's, <laughs> the microwave's not, functioning. not functioning. Like I get what you're saying, but also rent is very cheap. So, <laughs> and it's a great neighborhood. So like... I understand what you're saying, but no. <laughs> no, this is real. Like, here's real talk. If, if anybody's list, actually listening here, real talk, uh, we haven't had a functioning dryer in over two years. It's air dry all day. So, and I get it. I've lived, you know, I've lived without dryers and those kind of things. Um, it's more of an inconvenience. It's not, like, detrimental right. or anything like that. Um. But it's it's the signs. Yeah. Like, that goes, um, again, the sink leaks, um, so we're working on that. <laughs> Microwave just starts sparking from the inside, and I was yeah. like, okay, don't use that. Um, the fridge, that happened two days ago. Right. The, the out, and it's just Extra our... fridge. And here's the, here's the silly <laughs> part. This is not a complaint. This no. is kind of going, it's the second fridge. Right. It's not like we're without a fridge. Right. And, and we're just, you know, we're like, okay, maybe. I mean, when is when is enough enough to right. where the universe is going, hey, your cycle here is over. Yeah. And the gnarliest spider was in our house yesterday. <laughs> it was fast and green and black and would, like, disappear out of nowhere. I'm just telling you, the universe is trying to tell us something. And he had a staring contest with me. Yeah, like three times because he kept disappearing. I was like, just, he... I kind of wanted to be his friend, but he kept lurking. Yeah, no. So we had to get rid of him. No, no, no. So that's, I mean. I'm going to go going. with my big one, but I'm going to let you do yours first. Mm, um, I don't know what I, I mean, what it took up my time was just trying to not freak the F out. <laughs> uh, realistically. Yeah. Uh, that's about it. Yeah. Um, I and we'll segue into it. I'm, I'm over this last. Well, this has been going on three years. Right. I've been watching my warrior, my wife, go through some of the toughest times that most people can go through, and then I go through depression, and then you know, and I'm like. It's not about you, dude, and those kind of things. But to watch my warrior suffer, um, it, it'll take you down a notch. <laughs> it, it'll humble you. 
So I shouldn't have let you go first. So that just makes me teary eyed. Um, good thing but, we're recording the live on the video. Uh, gosh, I hope not. We are not. Okay, good. Um, so the biggest thing that's been happening is my mom's health declining. Um, and it's not like it's been fast. It wasn't like a fast decline. It was, it was gradual and it was slow and it was terrible. Like one of the worst things you could ever, I mean, ever, I would ever say go through. Um, so that's been awful. And then, so I've been down in Visalia a lot. I've been down in Central Valley a lot, just checking in appointments and close calls and not close calls and things changed and it's just that's a lot to do deal with um and then uh i'm gonna do my best to say this without crying but she passed away two weeks ago like not even two weeks ago i can do this (laughs) so just dealing with those emotions and trying to be there for siblings and kids and scooter and it's just been a lot just been a lot lately don't look at me ham <laughs> <laughs> i look at you all the time i know don't do it um this human being that's sitting across from me um is beyond beyond my best friend like i've said this so many times this human is my spirit animal like i strive to do better because this person does so she loves just cuz. That's it. There's there's no rhyme or reason. There's no trying to get something back. Um and knowing her mother, I you can and her father realistically, you see where she gets it. Now, we all have parents that have that fall way short of our expectations as a kid, right? Um, fall way short but when you find you take the good stuff out of there and and strive to go forward but I feel like that's the strongest point I've ever seen in Sarah's mother and father Uh, they love you just cause they don't want anything back they just I'm here I got you yes Um, and I think that's amazing so she's Literally, my warrior, my spirit animal. I don't know. If, I don't think there's an English word that <laughs> can describe <laughs> my mantra. I, I don't know if that <laughs> even applies. But that's to consumed a lot of our time. Yes. Um, all the other stuff was just kind of fluff and stuff just happening in life. Right. That's just life. Uh, but that has taken a lot of our time, a lot of our emotions, a lot of our efforts away from... Uh, this um, we talk. I talk about this a lot. It's like there's certain things. Everything in life to, is important, but sometimes things become imperative. Yes. And the podcast realistically was not imperative. No. No, it was important because this is cathartic for us. So yeah. if there's one person listening and it helps you through your day, yeah. Thank you. Right. That that's what it's about. So. Yeah. I'm the one not crying this time, so. <laughs> one in a row. Nailed it. Uh, I'm the yeah. crier. Yeah. Uh, so that's where we've been. Yes. Uh, where are we going? Ooh, that's good. I, I just came up, I was, you know, that's, I just come up with this stuff. It's <laughs> freaking genius. Like, <laughs> nobody's ever, ever thought of this before. That? I know. Nobody's <laughs> ever said that before. Oh, man. So we are getting ready for the last day of school. Thankfully, oh. yeah, because we all need a break here. It's a short lived break because both kids are in summer school. Um, we are hopefully going on some more trips to go see more people this summer and get to share more adventures. We are planning to do this more frequently, like on a regular basis, like we used to. Where else are we going? Where are we going? Uh, in life, we don't know. It depends on what happens with the the signs of the universe in this place that we're currently living. Um, We as a unit, um, a lot more like we're planning some stuff like trips and stuff. That's not just for vacation, but trips for kind of work, not really work. Um, 
we really like to take our trips for work and put play in them. Yes. Um, I think that's important. So if there's anything in Vice, I th- feel like, how about this? The advice part of this section is no matter what you're doing, if it's for work, put some play in there. Yeah. Um, you will enjoy your life a lot better. Uh, even if it's like the worst thing in the world, like you going down and visit your mom for one of the last times uh, very recently and left and drove to the beach. Yeah. And sat on the beach. And just cried for a couple hours. <laughs> but that, you had to have that moment. Yes. And without what was going on in your life, you wouldn't have done it. That's very true. You know, so some of these things, these really, I'm going to say shoddy <laughs> things. Is that S-H-A-W-T? Shoddy? Uh, that's different. Oh, that's a different shoddy. Yeah. Uh, the things that go on in your life that are rough. They force you to do some things that you needed and you didn't know. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, and th- those kind of things, the trip to the, to the beach, uh, you staying up all night with just your two sisters. Yeah. Yes. And just talking. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't happen enough. Right. I mean, it does happen every once in a while, but not enough. Yeah. Real conversation. You've had to have real conversations with people about how they're actually doing. Yes. And I I don't think we have enough of that. So I don't know if that's the advise me not um, <laughs> section, but it's really not an advise me not section. Um, but those will be coming soon. Yes. They'll be back. They will be back. We're back uh, doing this the best that we can. So if it's sporadic, we apologize. If it's um, too much for you, get over it. <laughs> <laughs> well said, sir. So that's where we've been. You ever some shout outs? Yeah, let's do it. What The last part. Shout out. Shout, shout out. out. Woo! Yes, the shout outs. All right. So I have at least two. So my first one is to my favorite Dang. podcast of all time. Oh, I know. So you're wearing the shirt. I am wearing my square bear shirt. So the podcast is called PK and DK. And I have legit been listening to PK for 15 years. He was on the radio um, in Fresno when I lived there. And then him and his wife made a podcast in their like their second bedroom when they were in Houston. I've been stalking them since. Um, and it is just something where legit, I don't miss a podcast every single day of the week or Monday through Friday, they post one. And it is something that has just been getting me through everything. Uh, like without what they do and their laughter and their like realness, I just, I couldn't even, couldn't even function uh, just emotionally in the last year. She pulled me into that crap. Yes, I did. Cause they went live and it's friggin' hilarious. I'm like, okay, live. I'll, I'll watch it live, because <laughs> um, I'm into that. And I was like, man, this is rough. <laughs> like, these guys, their their quality of podcasting is phenomenal. Like, top notch. Live stream? Um, <laughs> They've only done three. <laughs> like, I don't... I can help you with that. I oh, was like, it was so good. They're buffering, and they're, you know... If anybody's live stream, do you understand... The buffering and and your um, how much you're kicking out there, your your bit rate can be overwhelming for some service providers. I don't know. That's some nerd talk, yeah. but it can really make things messed up. And but the content is so good. Yes. Uh, so I we watch diligently. If they go live, I'm in. I'm gonna watch. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just am. Amazing. I, I don't know them as human beings, I've but I the entertainment that they put out there seems to be extremely amazing and they seem like they actually give a crap about what's going on. Yes. Um about the people that are actually watching and hanging out, more of a community based thing. And I'm all into that. If you guys know me at all, uh you know that I'm more about community than anything else. Yes. So. 
And then my second one is to my bestie since forever is Valerie Orlando and John. Again, try not to cry. Mm. <sighs> They're just the best people ever. You stole one of mine. Oh, sucker. And every time I'm there, I just feel like I'm home. And they just have this way of stop of having a conversation and talking about stuff without like forcing it upon me. And I just I can't think I'm enough. No, I can't. I mean, I have shout outs and John was on my list. I sorry, I spelt his name wrong on my list, so I just corrected it. <laughs> um, yeah, I, it's been a big deal. Like I, I've come to terms with saying real stuff to people recently and it means the world that uh, John and Valerie are out there thanks dude right I love them oh, was that a segue for me yeah oh uh, my shout outs I'm not going to get really in depth in it because it's not I'm, this is Sarah's episode oh. of this but I went. Through, I've been going so through some really rough times watching my warrior. Uh, realistically, losing a brother that I didn't even really know. Yep. Um, that also happened on top of all this. Uh, but there was three people, and you know who you are. Um, I'm going to give names, but there's three people that actually checked in with me um, on a regular basis and it wasn't one of those things of checking in and saying hey man how you doing is everything okay it was more like hey let's go to lunch hey man let's just chat for a while hey what's going on yeah. hey what you know it was more of just that kind of checking in where you don't have to talk about it because we already know what's going on right talk to me and just be normal and let's let's enjoy each other uh, Jim thank you no oh, I'll see Scooter's crying now you can do it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nope. You can. I just verbalized it. I know. That's the hard part. All right. So, Jim, thank you so much. Like, I mean, this is not just this last year. This is somebody that every once in a while needs somebody to talk to. Or need, knows that I need somebody to talk to. So yeah. we go to lunch, have a beer, move on with life, and we know what's up. Yep. Um, to other people that um, check on me more than I ever thought they would, and I've only known them for a couple of years, um, Miranda, thank you. Yep. Means a lot. And I'm going to drop an F-bomb. Is that okay? Sure. Yeah. So... <laughs> No, I won't do it. Um, <laughs> I want to, but Kirk, thank you. He wants to say you, effer. <laughs> yeah, I do. Thank you very much uh, for just being real, uh, checking in with me, letting me check in with you. Um, it's a huge two-way street of we don't have to talk all the time, but when one of us needs to talk, we got each other's back, and that's that means more to me than how. Do, here's the here's the thing. It's like yeah, you can have millions of friends and millions of followers and all that kind of stuff, but I think there was a speech, and I don't remember some older Italian gentleman um, that said you don't need all these thousands of friends and millions of followers. You need three MFers. Yep. And I'm trying not to cuss. You did good. Three MFers that just got your back. Yeah. And if you got those, you can take on anything. Um, and that's kind of my mantra. I mean, I think I've talked this in other of our podcasts about that bar fight mentality. Yeah. That's your bar fight mentality, people. Like, hey, whatever you're going through, I got you. Yep. Um, and those are, those are, I really feel like those are my three current, um, no matter what, gotcha. Yeah. Those are my shout outs. Those were good. 
This is a very emotional episode, and we apologize. You but, made it uh, that way. We, I know. I tried you really broke, hard. You broke the algorithm. I broke the seal. Uh, I tried really hard not to, you no, know? No, you shouldn't have to. Just do it. No, because then I'm just a sobbing mess. If people, can't, if people can't cope with it, then they move on and listen to something else. You know, I'll cry more later. Um, so, yeah, good episode. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to add to it? Or are you good? No, I'm good. I think um, I'm just happy to be back. I'm happy to be sitting at a different table, um, a smaller table where I'm closer to you. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll take a picture of that or broadcast live to see that, that we are set up to be a little bit more intimate and not so That's how professional. I know you, you didn't see my picture I posted. Oh, I don't. Yeah. You don't well. follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Am I supposed to follow you? <laughs> uh, You're not supposed to follow your wife on Instagram, are you? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> no wonder I don't have any followers. I know. Well, how many wives do you have? Mm. <laughs> on that note, thank you guys so much for listening. If you're not, you don't even know what we're talking about right, right. now. Right. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Just move on. Yes. Love right, you guys. Bye. We'll see ya. And I'm V. And we are from the It's Working podcast where we take deep dives into mental health, breaking stigmas, and starting those conversations. Find us on your favorite podcast directory.